well today. I, um, sorry it took me so long. I was actually looking for, I went all the way to the kitchen, poured a glass of water, and then came all the way back here and forgot it. I was about to go to bed, but, um, I wanted to play Cozy Grove. I told y'all yesterday I was going to play it. Oh, man, this kind of sounds like funeral music. I earned a new badge. All right, so I am playing this off, off stream on another save file, and I've made it to like day 10, I think. So what I've understood about this game so far is that it's not meant to be played for long periods of time. They only give you a set amount of things to do, and then you have to wait till the next day. You can time travel, but I'm not doing all that just to get to another day. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. So what I'm going to do first is run around and see if there's anything to dig up first or pick up. Hmm. She is too cute with her little uh, Girl Scouts outfit. Alright, let me talk to all the bears. Patrice Furback, the postal bear, at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life. And I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts is a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Ooh, bursting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 Sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the Psyche plane. Psychic, my bad. They just show up whenever and wherever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I'd bet a spirit log that there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Ooh. Okay, so I have to find that buried under a leaf pile so it's kind of like you have to find the missing item but if if everything is this color it's kind of difficult so she said look for a leaf pile wait what Did you feel it? The rush of finding the package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal helper to help with the USDs. <laughs> What's a USD? Sorry, that's postal slime. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. If you come across a troublesome package, well, that one's screaming Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. Okay. Look at the, <laughs> look at the dude. He's scared. He is shook. Aw. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. 
Ooh, I got mail. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wipe my tail when it because I want to yell. Mail. If y'all know where that's from, then you and I are here. I don't know how the new kids do it. This is how we used to do it growing up. So. Alright. Let's see. One common log cabin large potted plant. A planter. And ten parsnip. Ooh, nice. We got stuff. Yay! Once you do their, I guess, daily chore, then they light up the area around them. A chill wind blows ashore ghost that I am. It blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. I have to find five feathers. So if it lags a little bit, it's because it's auto-saving. Oh, there it is. Near a dead tree. What do they mean by dead tree? So I had been talking about um where'd he go? So I had been talking about like paranormal stuff on my my TikTok, right? And the subject of monitoring spirits comes around. Now, if you don't know what a monitoring spirit is, it's basically a ghost or a spirit or something that has been sent to monitor you or watch you, right? Those come in a form of a lot of things. Those could be watchers that you see at night in the corner of your room, the little shadow people. If you ever seen a shadow person, that's a monitoring spirit or they can even be bugs. Um, some of the most common ones are bugs. And what I mean by bugs is like if you don't have, you know, any type of pest situation where you are and then one comes out of nowhere and it's the same type that seems to keep showing up everywhere you go flies are a really good example flies or gnats they're really good examples of monitoring spirit now i'm not talking about if you are you know outside and you got a whole bunch of you're grilling or something and, and you know, sometimes you might have flies around grilled foods and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like if you are in your house and you randomly have a fly come out of nowhere and you know your door hasn't been open or you don't have anything around you that would constitute for a fly or a gnat to be there. That's what I'm talking about. And so I had been getting ran a random fly that had been following me around right so i was like i don't want you to i don't want you following me stupid thing so of course i i have to go buy a fly swatter because we don't really have bugs like that so i buy a fly swatter and i go to town trying to catch this thing right i think i finally caught it or one of my kids caught it and so i go and lay down and 
you know, I'm chilling in my room. I'm about to go to bed. The only thing that's on is like a movie, right? And I see something in the corner of my eye that moves, right? I don't have bugs in my house. I don't have pests. I do not. We are like super duper adamant about getting rid of pests of any kind, right? So it was odd to see that I had something on my pillow. Hold on. Did I finish the other one? Oh, we got to go take the feathers back. I forgot who we got the feathers from. Squawk! That's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when, we, when ye have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly. Oop. You give a quest, I do it. You reward me. That's how how this works. I, do I want to be mean? <laughs> Let me say that. Oh, a pragmatist with a touch of sass. You'll do well on these shores, sailor. With these bits of fluff padding on my coat, the wind bite does lose its teeth. But bundle so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, ye cannot refeather your wings. Hooray! Oh, and look, stuff to collect. Now, I will say, if you don't know what to collect, you're just going to be running around here. It's basically trial and error at this point. Okay, back to my story. So, I see this bug, right? So, I get up because I'm not used to bugs. Now, I will say the fly situation happened around the same time as this bug, right? Like, same day, I want to say. However, this bug in particular, I had never seen this type of creature before. It had six legs. It looked like it was maybe a cricket, but it had wings. So I don't know what that was. I had never seen it before. I was not a fan, right? So I hop up, I squeal, I'm squeaking, and I, I immediately get it with a shoe, right? Of course, I've alerted all the dogs in the neighborhood. <laughs> my sons, my husband came out of nowhere trying to figure out what was going on. And, you know, they cheered me on as I got it because it was, you know, a very fast situation. So my husband disposes of it. And, you know, I check around my bed to make sure ain't, ain't no more surprises or anything like that. And I was like, OK, I'm already tired. I'm going to go to bed that very night. You guys. Now, if you have not heard the story, it's already on my TikTok under the video. I think two or three should be on the top row. It's a very recent video. I had a dream. I was in a bank. And it was a really, really fancy bank with marble floors and all, you know, bells and whistles of a bank. It looks like one of those very large ones. And they had an ottoman in the center of the room where you could sit down and wait to see whoever you're trying to see. Or, you know, just to sit. Because sometimes the banks have sitting areas. And there was this guy. He was sitting in there just chilling. And I saw the tellers and everything. And then the next thing you know, there was this lady that comes in. But she wasn't a normal woman, right? She was like, her top half, like from her belly button up, she was a regular woman. But belly button down, she had the body of a bug and when i mean a bug it was like legs six legs something she looked like something off of the forest if y'all ever played that game or ever ever watched somebody play that game she looked like something off of the forest or something off of freaking silent hill that's also another game for those non-gamers out there okay did i help him jeffrey can i help you with something Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. I'm pretty sure you don't. I hate to say you're wrong, but you're wrong. I've made that 
slip shot shovel earlier hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost of course it hasn't worked out maybe because the shovel i gave you is not my best work let me show you what i mean first though i'm going to need some softwood root vegetables and wood branches and look at that i already have everything that's quite a lot of materials you've gathered and I bet you're wondering, what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself? My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to build something right now. Great. Let me show you my workshop. Oh. Oh, he got everything. All right. Let me clear all this. I don't need any of this now. I don't think. All right, back to the story. So she walks in. She's got the body of a bug, right? And she's huge. And when I mean she's huge, she's about the size of an elephant in my dream. And I'm already like freaked out because she busted in this, this bank like she owns something. And so I instinctively ducked down behind the ottoman and behind the man that was sitting there and he's just looking like this is a normal thing and since the floor is made out of marble her feet on the floor sounds like this i don't know if y'all can hear that but it sounds like on the floor and it's clacking and it's really really loud and it's scary and i see her you know crashing through this bank looking for me and all i know is i need to hide i don't need her to find me you know stay hidden and i'm looking at this guy i'm looking up at him like help me and he's just looking at her like uh that she's there and so ooh, can i help you with something you know we aren't the only spirits that could use your help Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kid's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Buy it from Mr. Kit's store. Ma'am, what makes you think I have enough coins for that? And then I pass. This is Mr. Kit. He's the big dude with the thingy thingy on his head. Please be cheap, cause if oh okay, it's two fifty. Take my money. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like the simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Oh, I'm going to get my mail in seven hours. Oh, girl, you cheap. Where's my money? All right. Is that everybody that I talked to out here? Let me make sure I talk to everybody. Okay, back to my story, right? So, I'm hiding from old girl. I see her tearing up stuff in this bank looking around for me. And I'm pretty much hiding underneath old boy in this ottoman at this point. 
and I'm terrified. Now, if if you have ever been conscious in your dream or aware that you're dreaming, you can literally will yourself to wake up. And so that's what I did. I like I remember holding my knee sitting behind the guy like this holding my knees saying wake up wake up wake up girl wake up and as soon as i said wake up she spotted me y'all and the last thing i saw i was like this and she was coming toward me she didn't get close to me but she was coming toward me and i kid you not i sat up out of my bed it was daytime it was morning i was looking around my husband was like coming down the hallway he was like you good i was like yeah i think so I'm, I'm okay he was like all right well i done made breakfast if you you know if you want some you can get up and i'm over here thinking <gasps> so what i did to to fix the situation i basically went and and lit a candle and i talked over my candle i said whoever this is trying to watch me or you know spying or whatever they're doing i do not give them permission to do so right i was like i'm not here for it i don't like it no just stop sign every chance y'all get to try you're gonna come to a blockage and i'm gonna make sure you catch this block right literally figuratively spiritually however you want it it's gonna be a block and i let that candle burn all the way out y'all and i have not seen any bugs since now i'm not i'm not talking about going outside and seeing like ants or something like that or you know critters that be outside beetles and stuff i'm not talking about those i'm talking about the kind that come in your house or just monitoring spirits in general so if y'all ever have trouble like that you know just light a candle do some meditations or some prayers or whatever you believe in and be like no access denied and you should be good <laughs> because that was scary like she looked like something from a freaking anime or something it was it was odd it was really odd i can't help the fox was it you heads up postal helper looks like another past mark delivery incoming when your live letters arrive at the post office a few days after they're sent but ghost letters they don't r run on regular time and they're likely to show up at non-standard addresses like in leaf piles or behind rocks so if you find any letters out there please bring them to the office so I got to find three letters and I think that'll be the last one. Oh, there it is. A horned skull. Where would I see a horned skull? Is that it? Oh, there it is. A tarp. That's a tarp. Oh, that one was good. Okay, that one's hidden really good. notice for Clyde bills for my wife Anya and there's one for me ah threat of disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws standard stuff I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place and hey check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you yay Oh, she gave me a lot of stuff. Whip. Whip. 
I'm getting hungrier for more spirit wood each time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. How can that be when there's still so many needy shadows in Cozy Grove? I can feel at least 13 more souls waiting to be helped. Wait, I see something standing in a forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps that's just an oddly shaped tree? <laughs> he looking like, I don't know. Alright, it looks like there's somebody new to help. You're well on your way to being completely oriented, Scout. I hear you've even been helping out the other ghosts on the island. That's a nice thing for a spirit scout to do. Hey, since you're out there searching for missing things, you haven't seen my tea mug, have you? Oh. So there's a new person out here. Who dares disturb the forest? I'm trying I'm trying different accents, you guys, so <clears throat> who dares disturb the forest? Or do I want to be a little hood with this one? I'm gonna be hood with this. I'm gonna try to be hood with this one. Who dares disturb the forest? Sorry, just being sociable, just a spirit scout. I dare. I dare. Wait, you're a living person? After all these years? I thought you were just an imp. Back to torment me as usual. It's been a while since we've had a living, breathing creature in these woods. For decades, it's just been me and my fellow trees. You're not a tree, you're a bear. Of course I'm a tree, just like my friends here. Emerson, Carson, Cow Cow, Thoreau, say hello to our guest. They must be feeling shy. Of course, I'm a little different from your typical tree. I'm sure you noticed. It's embarrassing. Well, it's it's my embarrassing lack of leaves. The imps plucked them off me a few years ago and scattered them across the island. Would you mind finding my leaves for me? That was my, my ghetto. <laughs> that was my ghetto, you guys. Okay, so I'm looking for leaves and a teacup. Alright, let's see what we can find. Oh, these things are everywhere. And the leaf. And the bird is hungry. It's an anemone. What do they mean by crow's nest? Oh, I think that I know where a nest might be. Somewhere over here. Not me. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, luckily, I do have it on my TikTok, so it's the short version. This game is so cute. Yeah. Um, I'm actually almost done with day two. So I need to go on the beach area. Oh, there's one. And this little seashell arrow is something I don't have.
That ill wind is back. I've been stuffing feathers in my coat all morning to no avail. If I can't get warmth from the, some quarter soon, I'll have to give up my dramatic seaweed posture. Squawk! <laughs> I wonder if he could help. Who? Why, the merchant of mischief, trickster of terra firma, my constant tormentor. Mr. Kick. <laughs> Not you beefing with the, the, the little shop, dude. He, some say he sells wares that can cure a captain of his shivers. But perhaps those are just fishermen's tales. Oh my goodness. I got all of this stuff. All right, I'm missing one thing. Let me give old girl this back, her leaves. Aha, are those the leaves I was looking for? Thank you. Hmm, I can't see Maria attach them. I can't even find the branches that they came from. How strange. Wordsworth? Frost? Any thoughts on the matter? Typical. Most of the time these trees won't stop rustling. But as soon as I need their opinion, then silence is golden. Oh, she got more stuff. Money! Oh, she got a lot of money. Thank you. Thank you. Sis got bank over here. Oh. I'm getting all the stuff. So I need to buy something. What do I need to buy? Oh, that's cute. What else do I need to do? Near the workshop. What workshop? Oh, dang. Right in front of me. So, the rumors were true. If that fox sells wares as fine as these, I'll permit him to hunt the dry docks for now yes indeed the chill is fading already this is a wing warmer of the finest quality i think i'll add to my cabinet oh the mind what is it why every explorer worth their salt has a cabinet of the mind though some of the less lyrical among them might call it an item collection squawk it's an imaginary box I use to track the doodads, whelps, and gollywoods I've come across in my travels. Once ye have the idea, ye can easily imagine the item collection of your own. Right, is this item collection even real? As real as you want it to be. Ah, uh, I see it taking shape. Anything you'd like to donate? Ooh, let me donate some stuff. Everything I got. I wonder what he'll give me for it. So many new specimens. Shall we add them to the collection? I'll archive this right away. Okay. Looks like I get stuff for it. So now I need to give th give this stuff away and then I should be finished. It's so nice to see my mug again. 
I think I lost it yesterday? Given my ghostly condition, it's hard for me to be sure. A ghost's existence is a little confusing, you see. Our sense of here and now is all mixed up with our memories of our past lives. Objects from the past tend to appear and disappear as we think about them. So this here, it might be my old ranger's mug. Or it might be a memory of a mug made solid by energy from the beyond. Either way, it's tea. It's hot and tasty. Oh, monies. Yay, I got monies. Any more? Okay. That's look that looks like that's all I can do for today. More. Six more before I'm full. Goop. Five. Yum! Four! I don't sense any more logs today. You should check back tomorrow. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Oh, not me buffering. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here since there's nothing else like for me to do on the island except just collecting things. <laughs> so I hope y'all have enjoyed that one. If you did and you are not following, I um, encourage you to follow. <laughs> follow my other social medias. I have an Instagram, which I have not posted on in forever. A TikTok. Of course, Twitch. And I have a YouTube. Um, I do appreciate all of my followers. And I also have a website. I do a shameless plug. VidGameChicks.com if you want to support and I also have um, if you want to donate that's all in the description box I'm only saying that for YouTube the shout out didn't work shout out to everybody that watched <laughs> I thought I was gonna get away with it. I was trying to end it I was trying to end it <laughs> oh I should have been doing this more often anyways y'all I'm gonna go watch a good 2 movie and go to bed Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, gamer babes, peace. Have a good night. <laughs>